Okay. Alrighty, we're back. Um, all right, well now I just want to do a little short promo. This is a product we've been selling on the Mega Life 21 hard hitting progressive internet talk radio station. It is time proven, ancient formula, two of the most uh, time -pro proven, powerful, effective tonics for the human body. Um, Panax Red Ginseng Liquid Extract and Royal Jelly. That's it. Okay, liquid, mega dose, 30 day supply. Uh, try it and you can order it from our radio station. A beautiful golden red box uh, straight from mainland China liquid red Panax ginseng extract with royal jelly just Google these two items and uh, read all about their virtues and it's just amazing incredible 30-day supply nature's best time proven tonic and now where do we go to order it Again, please? Go to NewsletterCensored.com and after you subscribe with your gift to support this work to Newsletter Censored, click on the uh, radio station link at the top of the page and you can order it on that page. You'll see the uh, certified PayPal uh, um, drop down menu, you know, the cart, the shopping cart, whatever. You can order it there. Your cart is empty. Your car is empty. You know what I hate when you uh, when you really need need to leave an important message with somebody, and their mailbox is full, and because the idiots don't bother to check their voicemail and empty it out. Idiots. That ticks me off. And you really need to reach somebody. But anyway, let us sink <coughs> our teeth once again into these. <clears throat> Can you dig that, brother, daddy-o? While I disagree with our Republican lawmaker's position on the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, I respect their right to despise the new law and even to work toward its repeal, as misguided as I believe that to be. But. Obamacare became the law of the land through our tried and true legislative process. It passed both houses of Congress, was signed into law by the President, and was upheld by our Supreme Court. If our Republican lawmakers want to repeal it, by all means, they should work to do that end. But they should do it within and through our legislative process. Since when did blackmail become an acceptable way to enact or repeal laws in the United States? Yeah. Refusing to fund the federal government as a tactic to effectively destroy Obamacare is un-American and unethical at best and should be an embarrassment to any self-respecting Republican. Self-respecting Republican? <laughs> Through this action, our Republican lawmakers have shown more clearly than ever that the common American worker is of no concern to them whatsoever. Bingo! My fervent hope is that the Senate and the President hang tough and refuse to give in to these blackmailers. Where, where, where do these Republicans... Who do they think stimulates the economy and buys the products from their rich corporate friends? Uh, I do not think anybody who wants to shut down the United States government is worrying about who's buying products from whom. Yeah, or how the economy is working. 800,000... They don't give a shit. 800,000 uh, uh, government workers. So they, they, they literally 
are proving that their agenda of greed and power is greater than the country itself. Bingo! Been saying it for years. Since the country is we the people. Um, and or was. Was we the people and the Republicans don't care. Their, that means their agenda is, is pure now selfish. Now it's we, the corporations, the rich, and Alec. Okay, Alec. They actually think, they actually think that the, the mass, massive volume that that mainstream American consists of will actually just sit still. And, and, and work for slave wages with no benefits and, and, and just do their bidding. They actually think the asses of the masses would just sit still and, and, and put up with it. <laughs> I guess they do because, you know, look how they neutralized Occupy Wall Street. Because Occupy Wall Street, they, um, they did not grow to the massive volume that the protests are, the protesting that's going on worldwide, that the American media doesn't tell you about. In other countries, the people are ferociously angry, and 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 the volume of protesters is much larger, much much larger larger than any of the Occupy protests. I mean, massive amounts of people, no. pissed pissed off. There were a lot of people involved in Occupy Wall. Have you seen pictures of the I right. international protests? I'm th I mean, what kind of protests are against the uh, Trans-Pacific Partnership Treaty? You see any? The treaty that will that will take away our sovereignty as a nation and allow corporations to determine whatever they want, and if we don't like it, they can sue us for taking away their ability to sell a bad product. In other words, the, the ability to, to rob from the consumer and, 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 uh, and would not, without any consumer protection? Without any nation protection. There will be no nations under the, these treaties that they want to get through. It will be the corporations. And if you have a problem, then they will quash you in court. How they going Whether you are the nation or a person. How, how they're going to quash uh, hundreds of thousands of angry citizens? Well, they've already done that. That is no problem. Oh, it, that is already done. It will be a problem if uh, the people really got pissed off enough. There's a lot more of us than there is of the uh, National Guard and the uh, and the suckers that work that. Take they orders from guns. the elitists, huh? They have the guns, baby. They have the guns. Yeah, and they don't want the people to have theirs. Well, we have a people who don't know. They'll quote the Second Amendment like crazy to uh, allow them to have arms, but they don't read the Second Amendment and understand who they're fighting for. The Second Amendment, as I say, reads, a well-regulated militia being yeah. necessary to a free state, the right to bear arms shall not be infringed. We so, don't, we don't when wanna, you have your arms... We don't want to fight for the state. They don't want to. They want to crush the state. They say the state is coming against them to take away their arms. Yeah, but the state, the state and the federal government, like you said, is controlled by the elitists. Why should why should they form a militia and fight for the elitists? Because they, it's not there yet. We still have a government. Okay. Unfortunately, it's being run by corporations, the rich and Alec. They get their laws in there. We don't. True. But someday we will have no part in that government. And then probably we may have to fight from our from ourselves, our own militias or whatever. But as the Second Amendment amendment reads, we are supposed to be fighting for our state or the National Guard, which right. is our federal government. Right. That's who we're supposed to be fighting for, not against. Right. You know? 
but obviously all these rednecks wow. that want their guns, they, well, we're fighting because they government wants to was take it, away our guns. Well, didn't 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 one or more of the founding fathers mention something about if we if we ever have a rogue government? Didn't they mention the word rogue government? No, Thomas Jefferson says something to that effect. He said that we should have a revolution every 19 years or so. <laughs> keep to government healthy. To prevent, keep them on their toes. Yeah. Now, if we would have done that, of course, then the uh, Tea Party wouldn't be in power today. Yeah, they're just... So it does have its uh, ups and downs. They're just deluded idiots. But they're in control. Boehner is impotent as a leader because he will not cross them. No, he's because if he crosses them, his career will be kaput. Kaputi. Kaputi. So he's a marionette, he's a puppet. That's correct. Maybe. So you got 30 or 40 people. Maybe McConnell and, 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 and Rand, Paul, is a, are puppets. Well, too. Rand is safe for another five years or so. Oh, he's not McConnell up. is up. McConnell, turtle face is up. He's up. But that the point is though that um, that um, you got thirty or forty people in the House of Representatives who are uh, the tail wagging the dog, and he's they are in power. Yeah. There's other Republicans and there's Democrats who outnumber them in the House. Boehner will not put the laws in the House bring them up for a vote so that the Democrats can side with the good Republicans and do what they want and uh, push the Tea Party to the side. He's being spiteful. He's doing what they want. He's doing what they want. He's Sab doing their sabotage. Will. That's uh, correct. And you and believe would you believe there are so many idiots in Kentucky still like uh, McConnell? They're, these are really these are stupid cult, you know, uh, 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 deluded cultists, you know, these, uh, that whole right-wing uh, evangelical zealot, Bible Belt, red state mentality of all these hicks in, the, in America that's, that I would actually think Mitch McConnell is good for the country. You see it, you see it on Facebook. And, and they don't have a and they don't have a pot to piss in. That's the amazing part. You got these right wingers up there that just blast that stinking uh, right wing propaganda shit. And they don't have a pot to piss in. And they actually think the 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 uh, uh, the, the uh, what do you call it? Uh, tax and spend liberals. The liberals are bad. And, and, and that the, the corporations are job creators. <clears throat> Just in New Jersey, the campaign in New Jersey, Chris Christie is accusing, and it's the same old, same old, same accusing old. Barbara Buono of representing uh, uh, tax raising on the citizens of New Jersey. She's going to raise your taxes. No, she wants to raise the taxes of the rich not the middle class or and the poor on the rich she wants to raise the taxes but Christy the doesn't tax burning back where it belongs but ta but he doesn't say that he Absolutely. just says they want to raise your taxes the yeah. democrats so want to scare the middle class and the poor people yeah the democrats That's want the, your to taxes are going to be raised the democrats want to raise your taxes yeah. no your taxes is the taxes on the rich and, and they don't mention that part yeah wouldn't serve their purposes, would it? To uh, many conservatives, Obamacare is the slippery slope to single-payer health care and socialized medicine. Sounds good to me. Oh, yes! We should note, however, that we already have both single-payer and socialized medicine in the United States. Medicare and Medicaid are single single payer programs right. which are funded by the government and delivered privately. And charity care with, 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 with many clinics and hospitals that have it. The Veterans Affairs Health Service runs like the National Health Service in Great Britain. Government operated care facilities in which doctors, nurses, and other service providers are employed by the government. 
While people may disagree with single-payer or government-run health programs, there is no denying that these programs provide health care to millions of our citizens and are extremely popular and well-regarded by the public. Mm -hmm. So why are the Republicans against them? Why? They, they, they're, they're, they're still for welfare for the rich, Wall Street bailouts, they're anti-Main Street. You know, they, they seem to keep forgetting who the real, true consumers are. And I don't know. I, I mean, it's like, uh, it's, it's like a complete obsession. I have mine, and I don't care if you have yours they or not. They seem to forget who their fellow citizens are, who may be having a little tough time. Yeah, like like all those uh, um, Bible Belt evangelical religious nuts that keep on voting for them, that don't have a pot to piss in, and you're, you're voting for a party that does not have your best interest. At heart. At heart, yeah. yeah. And they also believe in this... Uh, 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 it, it never worked in the Great Depression. Mm -hmm. The churches were never able to feed all the people and they can't do it today yeah they, they, they well Republican besides saying that he will pray for you if you're poor and destitute well, who's he gonna pray to yeah who's he gonna pray to okay. because the God of the Bible is ain't not listening. he's not following the God of the Bible that's right he ain't listening and 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 so when a Republican says well we'll pray for you and and then they throw in well why don't you go to your local church go to your parish uh, and go to your relatives for help. That's that's sort of like sweeping you under the rug. Well, that is also that is also giving the man a fish so he can eat today. But you are not giving him the ability to fish for all the days ahead. What what if, what if the rivers and lakes are polluted? But also, what what if you just and the ocean just give him the the. You go to the church, you get the food for today. How is that going to help you tomorrow? There is no tomorrow. Exactly. Because they do not provide the moolah no, to get out of poverty. Everything is defunded except, except if you're a fat cat and you need a bailout. And that's why you know the Republicans are liars when they want to cut spending. Because if you wanted to cut spending and make government smaller, the first places you would go after would be the Pentagon, would be the uh, subsidies and grants to the big oil companies and etc. Right. Before you would ever touch things such as food stamps and WIC, social etc. Social services are, are a mere tiny drip in a bucket, drop in a bucket compared to the Pentagon. And the necessary and bailouts for, for and necessary corporations. Yeah. Whereas buying eighteen different types of tanks, thirteen different types of planes that never get used, that never get used, at, is pure waste. At millions each, at God billions knows, today, baby. I mean, each plane. If a plane, if if one of these planes goes down, that's like like several. More than several million. You know, million who dollars, was actually. it? I'm not sure More. if it was in Afghanistan or in Iraq. Somebody shot down one of the B 2s the stealth bomber. And these, and these are these. How did they do that? And these are crude, dirty, dingy Taliban with yeah. what do they have? A, a shoulder-held rocket launcher, How did they do bazooka. That? They're supposed to be. They're supposed to be supposed to be stealth. You're not supposed to see them. Yeah. Whatever happened to whatever happened to using the high technology of the US military and flying at night with the infrared with the night vision and 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 uh, and using satellites to help you and uh, to detect where these caves are by using high technology and just simply firing missiles into these caves or when you you're your device shows that there's no we would rather fire into a wedding party and kill innocent people 
Okay. Yeah, whoever's whoever's um, in charge of sending the drones out is not too not intelligent, too cool. not too cool. Yeah. You know. Speaking of this stuff, yeah, that you were just speaking of, National Security Agency Chief oh. General Keith Alexander, yeah, revealed that his spy agency once tested whether it could track American cell phone locations. In addition to its practice of sweeping broad information about calls made, Alexander, the director of national intelligence, James Clapper, testified <laughs> Clapper. at a Senate judiciary... Speaking of... Is it Crapper or Clapper? Crapper, I think. What's the guy's name who invented yeah. the toilet? Yeah. Crapper. His actual last name was Crapper. That's where they got the word crap from. And Great. Crapper. Fat bastard. No, that was his real name. Yeah. James Clapper testified at a Senate Judiciary Committee hearing on proposed reforms to the NSA surveillance of phone and internet usage around the world exposed in June by former NSA analyst Edward Snowden. Alexander denied a New York Times report published on Saturday that said NSA searched social networks of Americans searching for foreign terror connections and detailed 12 previously revealed cases of abuse by NSA employees who used the network for unsanctioned missions like spying on a spouse. He said all employees were caught and most were disciplined. Alexander told the committee that his agency once tested in 2010 and 2011 whether it could track American cell phone locations. But he says the NSA does not use that capability. See that? We have it Americans but we don't use it. We wouldn't use it on you people. To track you? What? You went to an Occupy Wall Street meeting? Oh, we're going to track you, buddy. You we don't see, like you going to Occupy Wall Street meetings. You see that banner of the laid-off uh, NSA employee holding up a sign that says, I, I will listen in on your conversations for food. For food. The FBI to build a criminal or foreign intelligence case Ooh. that suspect, then we will track him. This may be something that is a future requirement for the country, but it is not right now because when we identify a number, we give it to the FBI. When they get their probable cause, they can get the local, the locational data. Alexander acknowledged his agency collects data from social networks, and commercial databases to hunt foreign terror suspects garbage. It's to hunt Americans. But it is not being used to gather information or to build private files on Americans. More garbage. It certainly is. Okay. Well, I can go on record and say I always hated uh, the elitists. I always hated corporate CEOs. I, I'm not too crazy. I think capitalism is the devil's economics and I cannot stand conservatives. So that's about all I can tell you. You know, whoever's spying on us. Well, I loathe them. I loathe them. They are doing it. And I have good that's reason. The point. And I have good reason to, to loathe them. They are doing it. Hey, um, how are we, how are we doing on the old, the old shadow on the sundial? Oh, uh, you got a, you got a good one for the last, uh... What is considered good? I think shutdowns and NSA spying and even stink bugs are good No, a shutdown sounds good. You got a shutdown, or you have a Chris Christie one, or a... Chris Christie has been kind of quiet lately. Um, How about tomatoes? You want to know about some tomatoes? 
Oh, wait a minute. I got something on Christy here. All right, read that. Read that. I don't want to, I don't think tomatoes would be a good representation for progressive discussions. They help the prostate. Oh, health talk. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Is the Christie one like big? Governor Christie told CBS News Sunday morning that he is more than halfway toward his weight loss goal. <laughs> is he? He still he, look, he still looks huge. Since undergoing gastric banding of surgery six months ago. In the segment, taped over a period of several weeks and broadcast on Sunday, the governor declined to say exactly how much weight he has lost or how much he intends to lose. Oh, man. We don't give numbers, but I will say I'm more than halfway to my goal. You don't give numbers. That, that same thing goes for his portions. He don't count calories either. <clears throat> Whatever happened to old-fashioned, you know, uh, discipline, eating the right foods and getting and getting safe, going on a safe exercise program and just eating proper foods instead of getting the gastric bypass surgery. <laughs> well, I think that people, when they do that, they are admitting that they have no self-discipline. Well, evidently, Chris Christie doesn't because yeah. he's, he's, he looks like a, uh, like a dirigible. I wonder if it's hydrogen he's filled with or helium. Because if it's hydrogen, ooh. No, it's rotten. It's, it's really putrefactive methane. Gas? Gas from it's putrefactive gas. waste. <laughs> I, think, I think Chris Christie is probably really impacted with, with years of toxins and fecal matter. On those intestinal walls. Yeah, yeah. The interview was broadcast the day the record published a front page article marking six months since Christie had the procedure. Why would he actually fit on the front page? In which a silicon band with a balloon inside really? was placed around the upper portion of his tummy tum. Oh gosh. Why Christie's would... public acknowledgement of the procedure three months later heightened speculation that he is planning to seek the 2016 Republican presidential nomination. Hey, lose weight for yourself. Think of your health before your selfish political career. Do it for yourself and for your kids and your family. You know, save your, your life and think of your health for that reason. Not to, to get to look pretty for a uh, future run for the presidency. Uh, 